If you are a developer, chances are astronomically high that you use Git in some capacity. I use Git extensively at work and over the years, I have developed a workflow that's fast and allows me to be productive. Like some other developers, I don't strictly adhere to a specific way of using Git. I know some folks who swear by the command line tooling and some others who exclusively use a GUI. I use a mix of both to get my job done, whatever is faster for a given task. In this video, I will share my Git workflow and it starts with Visual Studio Code. I previously covered the history of Git in a DevBytes episode. DevBytes is a short form video podcast focused on fascinating facts about computers and programming. Be sure to check it out. VS Code is my go-to editor at work. If you use another editor, you might be able to replicate some or all of my VS Code workflow using some plugins, or you might find reasons to switch over. Either way, I'm sure you will find something to take away from this video. Let's get started then. My typical flow goes like this. Edit a file, commit it with a nice message, and finally push the changes to remote. I could commit and push using the command line, but it's far more convenient for me to do it from within the editor where the same functionality is seamlessly integrated. We can keep our local repo in sync using the same refresh button, which not only pushes unsynced local commits to the remote, but also pulls new commits from it. Moving to the next important thing, working with branches. When I start working on a new issue, I always create a new branch to store my changes. This keeps the main branch clean and lets me work on my own island without disturbing other folks on my team. A separate branch is also easier to review via the pull request functionality. When I need to switch my branch, I click the same branch selector that I used to create a new one. Once I'm done working on my changes, I proceed with my usual commit and push workflow. Another useful feature of Git is stashing. When I'm in the middle of my changes and realize that I need to pull the latest code from remote or perhaps work on another piece first to keep the Git history sane, I use the Git stash functionality. Stashing allows you to save your uncommitted changes in a reserved area and restores your branch to the last commit. You can then do the other stuff and come back to your safe changes by applying the stashed changes. VS Code's Git awesomeness doesn't end there. We can supercharge it with one of my favorite extensions, Git Lens by Git Kraken. Git Lens exposes the hidden strengths of Git and changes the way you interact with files. For any code file, you can see its commit history via the timeline view. Moving your cursor to a line of code will trigger Git Blame to reveal inline information about the commit where it was last changed. It's useful to get more context for a code change, especially when you're investigating a bug. Git Lens also adds a ton of views on the source control panel to visualize your commits, branches, tags, and even stashes. I love the commit graph feature. Right clicking a commit here or in the commit view in the sidebar lets you do a host of things like reverting, switching, or simply looking at the files changed. When I need to share a code snippet in context, I use the copy as option, which copies the remote host link, usually GitHub, to highlight the target lines of code. For me, Working with Git inside VS Code is a blessing. It really ups my productivity and saves me a ton of time I would otherwise waste in Googling or firing when the commands. I hope my short introduction to Git coolness in VS Code will help you decide for yourself what works best for you and lets you be more productive at work. Until next time, adios.